Pop Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harry from Bulls Tabletop News with Michael from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. And we're back with another Tabletop Spotlight. Dude, got a trading game here, huh? Yeah, something like that. This is the new Merchants of Araby game. This cool. is fresh off Kickstarter, so brand new. You might find this uh, nice. on your new shelves in your local stores. But uh, cool. sort of a new hand management, worker placement kind of uh, game. You're speaking my language, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love worker management games, just worker placement mm -hmm. game management stuff because it's... It's just like changes every time. Yeah, it looks it looks like it's pretty interesting, and like I said, it's brand new, so we can yeah. uh, take a look and see what it's all about. Sounds good. Let's take a look inside the box. All right, man. It's Merchants of Araby time from Daily Magic Games. Yeah, I, I'm fairly excited about this. Kickstarter's been a really cool platform to get new been, stuff out. Kickstarter has been pretty solid. Yeah, and, so uh, we've got. Uh, I'm looking forward to this one. It's got cool the back box. here. You got a nice yeah. little QR code. You can presumably learn more about the game there. Yep. Yep. Um, camels, caravans, and conniving. Ooh. So three things that I'm a fan of. Three things. Anyway. That are things. <laughs> you can see that it's got a nice little slip cover yeah. here. At least oh. this edition does. Might this is a, the Kickstarter edition. Might by be the a way. Kickstarter so, thing, but yeah. yeah. Back is the same there, front is the same there, so we can just pop this open. Or slide it something. Oh, 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 oh. that is a fancy looking carrying case. Yeah, it is. Is it magnets? It is it magnets. Is. Magnets, how do they work? How do they work? How do they work? It's got a foam a little thing foam on top. insert there, right. so we've got, you can see there's some different like, card spaces Ooh. on the insides. Maybe they'll be used oh. as part of the board. Possibly. Oh, that is slick. Actually, look That's at that. That's pretty folks. smart. That is really cool. Look at that. Folds up, and then you got the game board mm -hmm. right As there. part of your box. Uh, well played. Well, well played, played, Daily Magic Games. Let's move this off to the side Let's for get now. Get this out of here. All right, so we've got the games. This is probably the, uh, the little, rules little section little here. reference, yep. Yeah. Um, we'll flip through that here shortly, but we let's keep going. different uh, cardboard bits and, oh. and gubbins. Nice. Presumably, bits and presumably player. Uh, I would assume there's, was there five of them? Yeah, there are. Yeah, there, I think this game's five players, so that would make sense. This is sense. probably like player screens. Yeah, like ooh. That for most games. I think you can They're fold them nice. up. Yeah, you can fold yeah. them up to be little tents and things like that. Oh, so, very uh, cool. Stuff you kind of see in other games like Scoville and stuff like that. Oh, okay. And this is a card game, mm -hmm. of course. We've got yep. some extra cards here. Here's your resource gathering. Ooh, ooh. We have some specialty cards. Yep. Tribute. Summon a Dijin. I always get that. Jin. Jin. The Jin. Jin. The Jin is silent. It's a genie. It's, it's an evil genie, genie usually. Summon generally. Uh, yeah. Summon once at a time. More right. like generally. Each player gives no, you okay. one or one. I shoot you. <laughs> generally. So we get some. We get some cool uh, tokens. Little camel mm. token here, which is always, always fun to see camel tokens. <laughs> it's kind of fun actually. We got different colored different ones. Colored, huh? presumably for each of the oh. different players. See how they match. Maybe different players. Those are probably your workers because this yep. is a bit of a worker placement mm -hmm. game. Um, a little rules reference card. Yeah, that's there. actually. I'm betting we get at least five of these. Mm -hmm. So um, let's go ahead and just hop over to the rules real quick. You get an idea yeah. of what the art looks like too. Is it? Yeah, it's pretty cool. There's different caravan cards that you sort of send to get your resources, and uh, you can spend, um, you know, you can spend resources to um, basically add camels and negotiate with your opponents and stuff like that. So oh. worker placement and like we said, so probably management. something to do with the, the amount of camels you send on the caravan mm -hmm. determines how much money you get out of it. Quite this. possibly. So I'm just guessing here. I haven't looked at the rules yet. We're so. about to though. But we are about to do that. Uh, it's a pretty so small rule book actually. It's yeah. not very big. It's only 10 pages. Yeah. So, Plus and that, then so 11. really quick reference there. We'll, we'll get to that, but flipping mm -hmm. through here, uh, here's um, just the setup. Your summary, stuff. you want to yeah. be the wealthiest merchant prince or princess. Yeah, you know, sure. If you want, uh, you establish your entourage of merchants, allies. You summon Dijin. Dijin. Negotiate and make some successful caravans. Yeah. So a lot of a lot of, sort of economic and resource management uh, ideas there. Yeah. So yeah, those are for each player like we thought. And this is how you, you lay out tent. the board, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Still got their board that also is your box. Yeah. I can't get over. That's such a genius idea. <laughs> And then there's all of your uh, different icons and stuff mm -hmm. like that that you're going to be getting in the in the game. So coin icons, all magic different resources, yeah, there. the different resources, the different, spice. different action things, basically. Yeah, these are basically the things you're trading to get more coins mm -hmm. and get more icon or um, yeah, coinage and to get richer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Starting the game, playing your turn, uh, but it, it's a pretty simple uh, turn phase. So during yep. your turn, you can uh, perform as many actions you like from this list. Actions may be taken multiple times and in any order. So you can play a card from your hand. Uh, task a card in your entourage, add and camels to your caravan. Your entourage is all yeah. your cards basically face up in front of you. Your, gotcha. your <clears throat> merchant that you're playing as and the allies that you have. And you can negotiate. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so if you're one of those people that likes to wheel a deal, 
definitely check this game out. Yeah. So, just some quick examples Different of examples gameplays. here, yep. yeah. And each car, like, uh, is gonna have you're gonna have ally cards that you're gonna be able to task them or tap them yeah. or whatever you want to call it. Different types stuff. of cards also can be activated at times. So you can play allies on your turn, and they help you out. You can play uh, jins, jins, jin on cards. other players' turns. Yep. Maybe they can impact other players' progress or um, otherwise, like you know, summon an evil spirit to screw with another player, like you uh, do. Which is yeah, I mean that's it's like Friday fun. night for me. Right, right. Tuesdays for me. But yeah, <laughs> uh, but yeah, you get the idea. Negotiating, you're going to be working out deals. Everything again. is negotiable for everything. Trade cards yep. and gold and products and actions and camels and kind of like that actually. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of I don't know if you've ever seen the game Chinatown. Where yeah. The entire purpose of the game is just to negotiate. Yeah. That's all it is. Just making deals. Mm -hmm. So uh, the game ends uh, right here. Once you've resolved all remaining caravans in play, players reveal their coins to determine the winner. Mm -hmm. uh, this is after you've gone through. Yeah. A once you rounds, once actually. you have no more caravan cards to play, obviously all the caravans yeah. are exhausted, and whoever's yeah. made the most money wins. It's so, pretty straightforward. So a lot it's of different, just all about making that money. A lot of different um, sort of abilities and things to yeah. keep in mind. And then there's a couple of examples of how stuff gets paid out. So. Uh, it's really not a super complicated game. You can check out the rule summary right here. Yeah. Uh, you can probably go to their website too and, and find those rules. From what as I've well, seen, so. it looks very entertaining. I checked on like Board Game Geek. It has like a eight out of ten, so which is pretty solid. Pretty solid for a brand new game. Yeah, uh, very enjoyable and not too not too complicated. Yeah, so you're going to be doing again. Just there's a bit of a drafting mechanic in there as well, and uh, playing around with the big fan of camels. Playing with camels. Say. Yeah, pretty neat stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and hop out for a really quick recap. Whoa, before we go to the recap, Michael, there's something we always always do that we didn't do this time. I'm like, it's like dousing for water. I, the tokens are here. Ha <laughs> ha, there, there are, are tokens. Yep. Gems. They were in the rule book, and we always check underneath the plastic. People wonder why. It's because for there's stuff reason. for that reason right there. So that's all your gold tokens, which I actually really like because they have the, they kind of remind me of like the Lord Waterdeep tokens. Yeah, yeah. Like the weird cutout and stuff like that, which is always just yeah. very, but very they're, unique. They're cardboard punch outs, mm -hmm. but it's cool stuff. Very cool tokens. So let's go hop, go ahead and hop out for real this time to that recap. Well, that was the Merchants of Araby. Yep. Pretty cool little game. Again, yeah. Fresh off Kickstarter. Yeah. Nice yeah. little sort of new uh, new worker placement kind of hand oh, yeah. card management. Uh, I love style. The, the style of it too. The artwork was pretty cool. Yeah. The the, the tokens. tokens are yeah tokens really nice. Yep. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, brand new off Kickstarter like you said. It's only twenty bucks, which yeah. is great. Uh, or roughly that, depending on your store, might be a right. little different. And this um, was uh, uh, from Daily Magic Games. Mm -hmm. Brand new. Um, it's let's crunch some other numbers real fast, yeah. too. The the number of players, again, was... Two to five. Two to five, mm -hmm. two to five play players. Now? It's going to take you about 45 minutes to an hour. Okay. Uh, so not super long, but yeah. for such a low price, pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it's time. pretty good. Like, yeah. And that's about age 14 and up, so, yeah. you know, most people are pretty good with it. Probably a little, a little harder for younger kids, but... Yeah. Just a lot of Still. stuff, well, yeah. higher end concepts to grasp. Yeah. I, I I think twelve and up could probably play it, but it's recommended yeah. fourteen and up. So yeah, nice little new yeah. sort of uh, fun Kickstarter game. Yeah. So check that out. Right on. It should be in stores right now. Hopefully, should be available now. Uh, you may be also be able to find it on their website. You too. might have backed it on Kickstarter. That's right. Who knows? Daily Magic Games. Go check them out. I'm Adam Harry from Bowls. I'm Michael with Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. And this has been another Tabletop Spotlight. Thanks again for watching. Tabletop Spotlight brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching.